Our job is to investigate how a plane ended up in the Hudson River. On the Hudson. It's not a crash. It was a forced water landing. Simulation showed that you could make it back to the airport. Not possible. I felt it go. That was a clip from the new film Sully, starring Tom Hanks, the movie hitting theaters today. It's expected to rake in $25 million this weekend. Joining me now in the Fox Light host, Michael Tamaro. Michael, so it's expected to make $25 million, but it, was, it cost how much? It was made for 60 So that's so it's good pretty doing good about in one weekend. Absolutely. But here's the thing. This is a movie that has legs. I saw it last night. It was fabulous. It's a movie that people go see and recommend to their friends and family. So, and it's also a movie. This is my favorite time of the year. The summer silly season of movies is done. Now we're getting some movies with some real meat, and people are going to be talking about this movie uh, between now and probably when award season starts. And you loved it. I loved it. Okay, so Fox caught up with Tom Hanks at the film's premiere on Tuesday night. Listen to what he said about preparing for this role of Captain Sully. There's a lot of rules that you have to learn, and they impact how you how you reenact what went on. You know, they're not allowed to talk after the plane pulls away from the gate. Did you know that? They have to buy their own food because nobody feeds them. Did you know that? I didn't know that either. So you just end up learning an awful lot of stuff. <laughs> I did not know that either. <laughs> How are the reviews for Tom Hanks? The reviews are fantastic. It's getting like an 82% score on Rotten Tomatoes. Has he ever done anything that's not good? I mean, even Bosom Buddies from back in the day, when, <laughs> from the 80s. I mean, he's just, he does this under, understated optimism thing that just so works with everything he does. All right, so it's hitting theaters this week. You think it's going to have a long runway. You're loving it. Let me ask you about the other one in the theaters that we want to talk about, the yes. horror film, Don't Breathe. So Don't far, it's brought in $55 million. Watch this. This guy is sitting on at least 300k. Boom! That's her guy. Wait, is he blind? We messed up to rob a blind guy, isn't it? Just because he's blind don't mean he's insane, bro. Wow, that's going to be a thriller, right? Super it's scary. I could not even get through the trailer. This is a movie for Mark and Dagan to go see together. I'm out. Mark <laughs> wants to see it. I'm done. That's it. <laughs> Dagan's ready to go. She's ready to go. So we had all these flops over the summer, yeah. and now this could be a bright spot in the overall sort of movie The movie was both. made for $5, mil for $5 million. That's it. I mean, it's a, the horror movies are turning out to be a real profit machine for Hollywood. The, um, you know, and the bright spot, if you look at the seven horror movies that were in wide release in 2016, they made a combined total of over half a billion dollars. Mm. And they're all made for a fraction of some of these big studio high concept movies like, you know, uh, um, Independence Day 2 Resurgence. Right, yeah. or Star Wars. Or Star Wars. Or st something like that, yeah. right? All right, let me talk to you about TV for a second, because A&E Network's reality show, Born This Way, yes. nominated for three Emmys. The show was created by Television Academy Hall of Famer Jonathan Murray. He also produces Keeping Up with the Kardashians and Project Runway. Uh, this is a reality show, isn't it, Michael? It's a reality show from the man who's, who's the king of reality shows, yeah. the real world, and Keeping Up with the Kardashians, as you mentioned. Here's the thing. It's... Typical formula for these shows, seven young people go out and we follow them as they try to make their way through the world, but the catch is they're all born with Down syndrome. And it's a very touching, movie, uh, moving portrayal uh, of these individuals. And diversity sells. Diversity works as a business. a &E's ratings are up 83% across the board because of this show. Wow. And it's making history. It's nominated for three Emmys. We'll see them out there next week. We're our wife on the red carpet as we're covering the Emmys for you guys. Um, it's, it's, and Dagan was saying earlier, she's a big fan of the show. That, that uh, it looks good and it also feels it's going to be an education. Absolutely, people, yeah. You know? and, and Jonathan Murray has done such a great job of breaking down barriers throughout his career. It started even with the real world when he was the first to portray a gay HIV character. And, so, and yeah. go to foxbusiness.com to see uh, an interview with Jonathan, actually. Michael, Fantastic. good to see you. Good to see Thank you. Thank you so much, Michael Tamara. Before we